Okay, finding area using integ integration part two, uh, uh, we started in part one to find why absolute value of x of absolute value of x minus two minus one from zero to one is that function, right? Now from one to two, again from one to two, it's enclosed below x axis, so it is negative value. Or if I substitute any value from zero from one to two, which is one point five for example. If I substitute it, I will find that I will find that this y, which is x minus two in the absolute value minus one, will be a negative value. That's why it is negative value. If we did a draw or we did substitute, it's the same. So in this case, in this case, it's negative value. Negative value. If I want to remove the absolute value over here, I should multiply the whole thing inside, which is y with minus. So it's going to be right. It's going to be minus inside absolute value of x minus 1, right? Of x minus uh, 2 minus 1. All the x. And the second uh, step, I will uh, show you how uh, this will be like that without absolute value. Plus, we still have two parts. It's from 2 to 3. Also, the part from 2 to 3 is below. Is below the x-axis. In this case, since it's below the x-axis, it's going to be minus, right? We should multiply it with minus also as well. Uh, or we substitute a value between 0 and 3, and we'll see that uh, it makes uh, from zero, from uh, from 2 to 3, actually, uh, any value from 2 to 3, it makes this number, this y, which is absolute value, x minus 2 minus 1, will be negative. That's why I should uh, multiply with negative 1. I remove this outer absolute value, so it will be minus absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 the x right plus integral from 3 to 4 it's positive number it's po it will be positive number because it's above the x axis so or if we substitute any value from 3 to 4 that will give me a, a positive number except the 3 which is 0 so it will give me a, a positive number this means i have to leave it as it is which is absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 dx. It's the same as the first part we did, right? The same as the first part we did. I, I would like to take it uh, to make them all the same. I will remove the inside absolute value and the other. Uh, so it's absolute value x minus 2 minus 1. Again, just past what we did. As you can see from 0 to 1, and from 3 to 4, the same. Why? Because if x belongs from 0 to 1, union 3 to 4, this y is a positive number. So when I remove the absolute value from y, the outer absolute value from 0 to 1 in this part, and from 3 to 4 in this part, I left it as it is. Absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1, absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1. But when we remove the absolute value from these two parts over here, from 1 to 2 and from 2 to 3, we multiply the whole thing with minus, and we have... Uh, we, have, we did something wrong here. So this will be a plus, right? This is going to be a plus because I should multiply the whole thing inside, with, which is y, in this part and in this part, it, uh, times minus. So it will be minus the absolute value of x minus 2, minus times minus 1, it will be plus 1. So in these two parts, it will be like that. In part 1, uh, from 0 to 1, 3 to 4, it will be like that. Let's continue. Now we don't need the figure. So the area is going to be integral from 0 to 1 now it's that's the time to remove the absolute value from x minus 2 again <clears throat> from x minus 2 this we did it before if x below 2 if x is below 2 this means the x minus 2 is negative if x is above 2 this means the absolute the x minus 2 is a positive number right so below 2 is negative above 2 is positive when we say from 0 to 1, it's below 2. So it will be a negative number. We should multiply it with minus. Then it will be minus x plus 2. And the minus 1, we leave it. The x plus integral. From 1 to 2, it's below or equal to 2. So it is a negative. It is a negative number. So I should multiply it with, I should multiply that part with minus. And we have minus outside the absolute value, so it will be plus. So what 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 we got is uh, x minus two 
right? Plus one uh, dx plus integral from two to three, the same. The, uh, uh, not the same, no. The absolute value, right? The absolute value of x minus two, since x belongs from two to three, means it's above two. When x is above two, as we can see, when x is above two, the, the x minus two means is positive value. So the absolute value of x minus 2, I leave it as it is. Multiplied with this minus outside, it's going to be minus x. And minus 2 multiplied with this x minus outside, it's plus 2 plus 1, right? The x plus integral from 3 to 4. When it is above 2, same, we leave it as it is. So it's x minus 2 minus 1, the x. Now, we are going to just simplify a little bit, minus x plus 1 dx plus integral from 1 to 2, x minus 1, dx plus integral 2 to 3, minus x plus 3, dx, and plus integral from 3 to 4, x minus 3, dx, and we find the integral. And uh, I'm, now I will do them in a fast way because there's no more time and they are easy. It's minus x squared divided by 2 plus x from 0 to 1 plus integral 1 to 2 of x squared minus 1, it will be x squared divided by 2, right? Minus x from 1 to 2 plus integral 2 to 3, it will be minus x squared over 2 plus 3x from 2 to 3 and plus integral from 3 to 4, it will be x squared over 2 minus 3x from 3 to 4, right? Now, the answer is going to be, we just substitute, it's minus 1 over 2 plus 1, uh, 0, 0, uh, plus 4 over 2 means plus 2, uh, minus 2, right? 4 over 2, 2, and minus 2. Now minus 1 over 2, minus of minus 1, it's a plus 1, then minus 9 over 2 plus 9, substitute into 3, now we substitute minus 2, or 2, but we should multiply with minus, this means minus 4 over 2, times minus it's plus 4 over 2 which is 2 and uh, plus 6 times minus it's minus 6 plus uh, <coughs> plus uh, 4 16 over 2 it's 8 minus 12 uh, minus 9 over 2 plus 9 and that will be the answer okay let's see if we can simplify right uh, what do we have else? Plus 1, plus 1, it's 2, plus 2, it's 4, four. Uh, 4, we have 4, we have uh, 4 plus 9, 13, 13 plus uh, 8, it's 21, 21 minus 6, it's 15, 15 minus 12, it's a 3, right, 3, 3 plus 9, it's 12, right, 12, Minus 9 over 2, minus 9 over 2, minus 18 over 2, which is minus 9. And minus 1 over 2, let me take them out. Minus 1 over 2, it's minus 1. So the answer is 12 minus 10. And the final answer is going to be simply 2. And that's it. See you next video.